What up, what up, what up, y'all? It's your boy JD, a.k.a. Snazzy Jazzy J, back again after a little vacation. I want everyone to know I'm going to start streaming Fortnite either today or tomorrow. But here, I'm back, and for today's video, I'm going to give you the best super moves from Injustice 2 and Marvel vs. Capcom. We will see which hero has the best finisher. These are the two newest fighting games representing each brand. Injustice is DC, and pretty much Mortal Kombat with superheroes made by NetherRealm Studios. In Marvel vs. Capcom, Obviously representing Marvel is one of the biggest fighting game franchises there is, dating back to the first game Marvel vs. Capcom Clash of Superheroes, heavily influenced by the X-Men vs. Street Fighter game in 96. So with that, I'm going to get into it, starting off our list at number 10. We're not finished with him! We are the strongest! My dude Venom, one of Spider-Man's best villains, using his symbiote powers to throw Spidey around like a ragdoll. But you expect shit to go down when Venom's involved, just like when this next one is around. Together with our hellish hate, we'll burn you all. That is your fate. The Red Lantern Atrocitus has his own ring, very similar to Green Lantern's except it's powered by rage instead of willpower. Paired with Dexstar, the cat, Atrocitus don't mess around. Either does my dude. I unleashed the secret magic! Too late to regret! I am Doctor Strange, Sorcerer Supreme! You heard him, the Sorcerer Supreme, the master of the mystical arts, one of the coolest characters in a big part of the MCU right now. But next on our list, we got a two for one. We got the two for one because both are former Robins. Damian Wayne is Batman's son that really doesn't get along with him and the other is Jason Todd, a former Robin that was left for dead by Batman and killed by the Joker. He was resurrected in the Lazarus Pit then took on the role of the Red Hood. If you haven't seen the Batman movie Under the Red Hood, I suggest you check it out. And check this out. It's my time to take the stage. What's huh? Something's going on. Something's coming. During Spider-Man's Super, those bombs that he is dodging is a call out to the Green Goblin. Those are the types of bombs that he uses, but Spider-Man uses his spidey sense and uses them to his advantage. Speaking of having an advantage... Treading water. Having the ability to summon fish and whatever the hell that was can really come in handy. It's always good to make sure you got your back covered, just like this next hero does. Fan favorite Rocket Raccoon with his boy Groot. Like I said, there's nothing like having someone to work with, especially if you got a few brothers like these. Coming through, bro. My turn. Shell shot. Even though the Turtles aren't DC, they made it into the game and have had a couple crossovers with Batman. The Turtles make a great team, and so do these two. Here comes the clincher! Watch your back! Heads up! Over here! Got it! See ya! Oh, Unyielding justice! See ya! Captain America and the Winter Soldier join up to give some unyielding justice. Captain America stands for the good in the world, and this next one doesn't. Remember when I said Jason Todd got killed by the Joker? Well, this is what it sort of looked like. <laughs> and 
that's it for the list. Those are the 10 best finishing moves from Injustice 2 and Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Five from each. Which one do you think is the best? Thanks for watching, everybody. Peace.